Hello everyone, this is Robert again coming at you with another video. Well, to today's video, I'm gonna be using my wool blanket to try to keep me warm around camp. Or when I'm out in the woods and I wanna sit by the fire and have some coffee. So, I'm gonna use my wool blanket I'm gonna use some paracord and a rock. So first, I'm gonna get the wool blanket around me. I'm gonna use the long, the longest part, I mean the longest length of it. Throw it over my head. Wrap myself in it. I'm gonna put a slip knot in my in my power cord. Try and just slip it closed and I would slip it tighter. I'm gonna take my rock. Well, it doesn't have to be a, a perfectly round rock, as long as it's not sharp, that it won't cut through the uh, the wool blanket. So, get it over my head, determine where I want to put the rock in the first side of the wool blanket. And come around here. I'm gonna get to lower this a little bit. Yep. I had the rock bunched up in both ends of the wool blanket. I'm gonna put my power cord around it, hold it. Then I'm just gonna take my two fingers. Gotta make sure the power cord stays between the behind the rock. And there you have it. Power cord is around the rock, good enough. And stays on you. Then you take the blanket off your head or if it starts getting cold
Put it over your head, keep your ears warm. And the side of your face. Then you just take the, the sides, grab them. Let me lower the phone so you can see what I'm doing. Take the sides, grab them, wrap them around you. You may have to lift up the wool blanket so you won't be tripping. Cause this wool blanket is pretty long. It's a 60 by 66 by 90. So pretty good size. So from sitting around the fire this winter, I can just wrap myself in, the, in this in my wool blanket keep myself a little bit warmer like right now it's real cold out I just saw all the, all the snow on the ground still but my little quick tie to keep my wool blanket on me since I don't have any blanket pins right now plus I don't I don't really like the. I'm not too sure about blanket pants because then I'll be, I don't want to be putting holes in in this all the time. Every time I want to use a wool blanket, then it'll end up getting a lot of holes all over here. So. That's one little quick tip that. I mean, I'm not the one that came up with this. I mean, there's plenty of other YouTubers out there that do this with their wool blankets, but I'll get my tarp laid out and my wool blanket laid out and I'll show you something else that I'm thinking of trying out with the this pyro cord and the rock when I'm going to be sleeping inside my wool blanket. So, I'm my top laid out and my wool blanket laid out. So, I'm going to wrap myself in the wool blanket. Then I'm going to toss and turn to see if the wool blanket will unwrap, like, come off me when I'm tossing and turning. So in case you end up tossing and turning at night, then your wool blanket's gonna come off of you. So, let's get, let's get this going. Okay, get yourself in the wool blanket. Diagonal. Oh. Before I put this on, I'm going to put this layer on me. Now, normally you're going to have your boots off, but I'm out in the open and it's cold out here. So, you put this over your feet. Then you put this one around you. Then 
Can you lay down? You put this one around you? I don't think I did this right. Let me try to put this one over me first. Can you put your feet? You're laying in here with, with inside your wool blanket. Now, if your head gets cold, you just reach around and you put your wool blanket over your head. Now, if you end up starting to, uh, if you want to like roll on, roll on your side and everything, The wool blanket does stay closed. But to ensure that the wool blanket is going to stay closed, you just take your power cord and you rock. Take this first part of the wool blanket, put the rock in it. Then you take your foot covering, put the rock in that. Then you take this last part. Make sure you don't get, make it too tight because you do want to have some kind of air pocket inside the wool blanket.
He just tied a power cord, tightened it up, and we'll keep the rock in there. Now you take your second piece of power cord and another rock. Pull this over. Then you pull this one over. Then you do the same thing. Gotta have a lot of, enough leg room to stretch your legs and everything. Well, this part comes undone. All you need is a third rock and a third piece of power cord. Close this up. And your wool blanket stays closed. So if you toss and turn at night, the wool blanket won't come off your feet. And That's the way I'm going to be probably using my wool blanket when I sleep in it. A couple of rocks and a couple of pieces of power cord. Trees are throwing snow at me. <laughs> but, you know, I was figuring this would be a good way to show if you toss and if you roll around at night when you're sleeping your wool blanket won't unfold and expose your feet to the cold well that's my little this is it for this video of showing how I'm going to be using my wool blanket when I'm out in the woods and I mean you don't need blanket pins you just need a couple of rocks and 
couple of pieces of power cord. And you can close up your wool blanket so it won't fall off you at night. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And just remember, when you're out in the woods, keep practicing on different techniques, different ways to use your wool blanket. Keep practicing on your fire making. Keep practicing on your shelter building. And keep practicing on all other forms of bushcraft. Because practice is the key to survival. Well, this is it for this video. And I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.